Hey guys, we're back to the Encino, and Encino is one of my two favorite regions next to Hoenn. Do the, uh, why it's my favorite region? Um, probably because they added so many evolutions and pre-evolutions that it just made me love it. I, I don't know. And also, probably some of the best legendaries there are. But then again, Hoenn has some of the best legendaries also, in my opinion. So yeah, but why are we in Sinnoh is the real question. Why, of course, to talk about the top five Sinnoh Pokemon that deserve Megas. I love that Infernape Mega Art. Every time I see it, I, I can't help but say I love it, just because it looks so amazing. But yeah, let's just continue with the rules, you know, the stinking rules that I have to go over every time we start this thing. Be cool looking, some exceptions will be made, where madame, you're out. Need it stat-wise or competitively? I could be wrong since I'm not a big competitive player. Yeah, I can't really explain that very well since... Yeah, be a fan favorite if you're a fan favorite it makes sense that you're on this list but if you're too popular like Mega Flygon you're not going to be on this list so that others can be on this list good example of a fan favorite Pachirisu due to the fact of 2014 I can't remember if it was nationals or internationals the person that won used a Pachirisu so yeah if your opposite has one it increases your chances like uh, Glalie has one so you know Frostless has a really good chance no legendaries or starters. I believe all starters will get a mega eventually, and I feel something special will happen to legendaries. Example, Groudon, Kyogre, and Quaza. As much as I love Garantina, yes, Garantina is one of my two favorite legendaries, the other being Latias. Just, I, I really have no idea why I like Latias so much. For one, it's probably because of that movie they had back a uh, long, long time ago. And I, I just loved it since then. But yeah. Guarantina is one of my two other fa two favorite legendaries, but I can't put it on this list, sadly. That makes me want to cry, actually. And these are my opinions. Please keep that in mind, because if I put something like B-Barrel, no offense, if you like B-Barrel, please don't rage about it in the comments. Thanks. So let's just get started with number five, and you're going against Phoebe of the Elite Four in Hoenn. What does she use against you? Desknor. Its regular ability is pressure, PP is drop 2 instead of 1 hit by a move, and its standard ability is frisk, reveal item of the opponent. It's a ghost type. Reasons, ghost only has 3 megas, which is close to the least. Electric has 2. It is NNU, but is really strong and can stay out for a while due to its high defense and special defense. I mean, like, 135. Like, that's pretty freaking good. Well, let's go to its mega. Its mega, I love the spikes that it added to the chest. That's pretty sweet, in my opinion. And normally, I don't like ghost types, so. Yeah. Its ability would be Shadow Tag. The opponent can't escape from the battle. So, hehehe. <laughs> Destruction. It would get, uh, stay a ghost type. It would. Sorry. Yeah. It would have a boost in. Def uh, dang, can't talk today. Boost in speed and special attack. Also, maybe a slight attack increase to make this ghost scare you even more in Halloween. Yes, I brought Halloween into this. How? What you gonna do now? Anyways, on to number four. You're battling Bertha in Platinum. Make sure you know what I'm talking about. I said Platinum, not Diamond, not Pearl. I said Platinum. There are reasons for this because she doesn't, doesn't use this Pokemon in Pearl and Diamond. I looked it up because I only had Platinum, so yeah. Anyways, continuing. Rhyperior. Rhyperior is a pretty sweet Pokemon in my opinion. I've liked it for a while, actually. Just, I don't really normally like ground and rock types, so it's weird for me liking this Pokemon. Anyways, continuing. Its abilities are Lightning Rod, Electric Moves go to this Pokemon, do no damage, and increase special attack if you're not a ground type. Solid Rock, special effective moves power is reduced 25%, and a standard ability is Reckless Recoil moves power increases 20%. Yeah, that's a lot. Typing, Ground and Rock, which I already mentioned, I really don't like that typing, for many reasons. I don't know, I, I just never really liked Ground and Rock types, whatever. Weaknesses make it easy to faint due to them being mainly Special Defense, but Special Defense is low. I mean, 55. 55 base, spe base Special Defense. Ugh. And 130 Defense. I'd rather be a Defensive, right there. So right now, Bertha's a fragile old woman. Let's make her not fragile by, by talking about the Mega Rhyperior. I gotta admit, I love this design due to the spike tail, and well, I like how it's like the arms, the drills, I, I just find that incredible and pretty sweet. And I love the color scheme too. 
Anyways, it would either have Hustle, bonus attack, but less accuracy, or Marvel Scale, plus 50% defense while inf when inflicted with a status. Typing ground, ground Rock as much as I hate it, yes, we're keeping it. Blah. Special Defense gets a boost since most of its weaknesses are here, Ice, Grass, and Water. Speed increases so that it can attack faster because 40 base speed sucks. I'm a person that loves speed. So, I'm guessing most people are, though, so you understand where I'm going with this. Anyways, on to number three. So, who's here? Oh, wait, what? Two names? Oh, God, I feel like we're back in Hoenn and doing this all over again. So, Electivire and Magmortar, because they're two opposites that have to be together. It's just how it is. Rhyperior, on the other hand, is like the third wheel in this relationship, in my opinion, but Electivire and Magmortar, yeah. I still can't get over how I like was able to put the Elekid and Magby on their backs, similar with the Lotad and, uh, I'm forgetting names now. Okay, anyways, let's just continue. So, we're going to start with Electivire. When you're battling against Volkner, you know, that gym leader that doesn't want to be a gym leader. Ugh. I, I really dis dislike him for just that reason. Because he didn't want to be a gym leader. Anyways, let's just keep talking about Electivire. So, its abilities include motor drive, speed increases from from electrical moves, from electric moves, takes no damage. And it's in an ability, Vital Spirit, it can't fall asleep. Well, let's go, punk. Typing, it's an electric type, and I love uh, the design with the... Um, wires on its back. I, I like that. It's pretty cool in my opinion. You kind of expect it to get one along with the others in the trio. And the trio I'm talking about Rhyperior and Magmortar. So, yeah. Electric only has two Megas. Some more would be nice since that is the least amount. I know I keep saying that for like every Electric type but it's true and it bugs me since Electric is my second favorite type next to Fire. So yeah. Also, it's a pretty cool Pokemon and also a strong one because 123 attack. Yeah. Anyways, on to its Mega. I love this Battery Man picture. I also find this pretty cool next to the um, Infernape one that I was talking about all the way at the beginning. I just find the battery at the top <laughs> amazing. If this gets a Mega, I want it to have that Battery Man, I swear. So, its ability would be adaptability, so it's more of a stab bonus. Keep its electric typing. Stats, defense, and special attack get a boost. Small increase in speed, like 20, because it's already pretty high in my opinion, and it's pretty good. So, now we can talk about Magmortar, when you're battling against Flint. Flint seems to come up a lot in these, actually, I noticed, but whatever. So, as for Magmortar, let's see. Abilities include Flame Body, chance of burning opponents when you're hit by a physical move, and it's an ability same as Electivire, Vital Spirit, can't fall asleep. Typing Fire, you kind of expect it to get a one along with the other members in the trio. Yes, I said that exactly. I'm having deja vu. But other than that, it's a pretty cool Pokemon. Oh my god, I wrote the same thing. I just realized that, but whatever. Pretty cool Pokemon and also a strong one. Stats could probably be better. Like, defense. Because Earthquake. Yeah. I also like this uh, Magmortar, but not as much as the Electivire. Mega Electivire picture. I'm sorry. An Electic would be its ability. Boost in power if this Pokemon goes last. Again, if I said that incorrectly, I'm sorry. Not very good with ability names. And some of the trainer names. Whatever. Typing Fire. Nothing changes. Stats, boost in defense, small uh, increase in speed, and special defense. I just read that backwards. Whatever. On to number two. Yeah, you know, Cynthia, what Pokemon of hers do you hate the most? Spiritome. Especially in black and white, in my opinion. Because I hated uh, how she only used double team, and then you could, like, barely... Yeah. Yeah. It gives me nightmares every single day till this day. So its abilities include pressure, PP is dropped two instead of one when hit by a move. Same thing as Dusknor. Hidden uh, infiltrator, substitute, reflect, light screen, and safeguard are ignored. 
typing ghost in dark reasons defense is higher than offensive so a defensive mega would be cool to have it's a good troll pokemon <coughs> cynthia <coughs> which i already mentioned it's a good pokemon but it has a small move pool which it needs to be able to use to its advantage uh if any of you remember back in 2004 was it 2014 or 2013 i already forget now I think it was 2014. There was the Trick or Treat contest um, in XY. I competed in that. It was my first time competing in anything. And I actually used Spiritomb. I used a troll move set. Because, um, yeah, because I wanted to win. And it actually worked. I, what was it? I had a uh, Shadow Sneak or Shadow Ball. I can't remember. Um,. Trying to think. Oh, double team, rest, and sleep talk. So, as long as I was asleep, I would still do fine. And also, I had it equipped with a uh, Chesto Berry, I think it was. Yeah, Chesto Berry. So, yeah. Even though uh, Cynthia is better suited with her Garchomp, which already has a Mega, I would still think Spiritomb is pretty sweet and deserves Mega. I couldn't get any picture of a uh, regular, like a PNG pick, you know? So, I couldn't really even find that many pictures of Mega Spiritomb, so, yeah. Continuing, early bird, it wakes up from sleep earlier. As I said, I really think that the rest, the troll team that I just mentioned, works pretty sweet, so that's why I gave it early bird. Yeah. Typing, goes from dark. Most of the boost will go to speed, so that you can troll easier with it, because 35 speed, come on. The rest should be shared between defense and special defense, protect from fairies, and as said earlier, more defensive megas. Because, yeah, I want more defensive megas more than just offensive. I think defensive megas would be pretty cool. And at number one is... Volkner again. That guy. Luxray. Luxray is probably one of my favorite Pokemon. It's one of my top six. Not as cool as Arcanine and Lucario, you know, but... Yeah, that's out there. Yes, Lucario is my favorite Pokemon. Now you guys all know. Real Lou, actually, because it's so adorable and involves a dual Lucario, but yeah. Anyways, continuing. I'm getting off track a lot in this video. Sorry. Its abilities include rivalry, attack, and special attack is uh, increased, decrease based on gender of the foe, increase of same, defensive, uh, decrease of different, intimidate, lower attack of foe on switch in. And its hidden ability is Guts. Attack increased if status, but if burn, there is no attack decrease. <clears throat> Typing electric. Reason, one of my top six, as I mentioned, electric has one of the least amount of megas. Yeah, 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 I get that. You, you probably are, like, yelling at me by now for every time I've said that. You're probably, like, putting a dollar in a jar and saving up to slap me. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Uh, it's movable is good for either attack or a special attack, but stats don't really show it too well. Actually, now that I look at it, it's fine, but, man. Yeah. With 120 attack, special attack is like, yeah, I'm useless here. Anyways, Mega Luxray. I love this picture also. Pretty sweet. I love the things that it gets. I love the, the map, the face, the change in it. it. Incredible, in my opinion. But, yeah. It would have static, you know, that regular ability that most Luxray types have. 30% chance to stun and me on contact. Change it to electric dark. Just because with this it looks kind of evil. So yeah. As much as I love Luxray. Anyways, increase in special attack since it has good move good moves for it. Also speed should get an increase since I believe electric types should be fast. I also believe that water and flying types should be fast, but you know, like no one listens. <clears throat> Nintendo. A small boost to defense could also work. Because Earthquake, as I keep mentioning. Now then, I know you guys are probably going to complain in the comments that I only picked my favorites, so here are some Pokemon that almost made this list. Star Raptor, I would make it flying fighting if using this picture. Togekiss, fairy flying, because you know the new fairy type. Gliscor, I love Gliscor actually, due to the Toxic Orb, and yeah, so I think Gliscor probably was the closest one to making this list, because. Man, I love Glasscore now. Weavile, Dark and Ice. And Frostlass, Ice and Ghost. I take no credit for any of the pictures I made. I give the credit to the original owners. Um, comment who you think should have made this list. Or, 
yeah, comment who you think should have made this list or anything that you would have changed around in this list. Like, instead of putting Rhyperior for number four, make him number three, you know, like all that minor stuff.